Welcome to Scotland. Ooh. Over the next two weeks, I road trip around the North Coast 500 in my basic van setup with my new van friends. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Showing you this rugged, wet, and windy country in all its glory. Sharing all things van life, the effort it takes just to go to the toilet, all things epic landscapes, and all things Scotland. Make sure to hit subscribe and drop a like for more van adventures and welcome to Scotland. I've got to be honest with you, I didn't expect to be starting this video with a pair of jeans a puffer jacket, a jumper, a t-shirt, some flip flops on, and my retainer. So as you may or may not be able to tell already, I am in Scotland. I traveled down here uh, the last couple of days with Charlie and Lauren who are parked up next to me. They're still in bed, chilling at the moment. As you can see, I'm back out in the van, traveling in it. Unfortunately, we didn't get the cladding up. A bird's just shat on my cladding. I've just painted. What the f <laughs> no. Oh my God. But. I wanted to make the most of the UK summer. Come to Scotland, they said. They didn't tell me to bloody rain every day though. Make the most of some time with some new friends and make the most of this van. So the plan for the next couple of weeks is to do the NC500 and this is day one. That's where we were last night. You got Charlie and Lauren there, a big green bus, and a few other campers. What a spot this is. Glenmore Forest Park, Loch Morlick. You got people on the lock already paddle boarding, the ducks are still sleeping. Loads of people coming in to enjoy the day. The sun's out, but it is still very cold and super, super windy. Plan of action slow start to the morning and then we're going to crack on with day one as i said of the nc500 this is the current setup of the van i'm probably going to do a full video of everything just to go in a bit more detail but just to briefly show you we've got a power oak which is going to be pretty much powering my entire trip i've got a porta potty as you can see but i've not even set it up i've still got the paperwork in there so i actually probably need to use that this morning we've got two boxes of my cooking equipment and just other stuff that i need we got the rice cooker which i used last night obviously we've got the ikea bed we've got the max fan we've got the table and i got some curtains as well for the front and the best new addition so far is a fridge from halfords if you're here for the nc500 if you're here for van life if you're here for some scottish adventures make sure to give the video a like make sure to subscribe because we're going to be having some fun over the next few weeks how do you set this up then 85 mil of this two to three liters with two to three liters of water in there what's it what's it called when you get a dog uh, you have to toilet train <laughs> that's what we're doing with will when you've been you just yeah. pull it up the effort it takes just to go to the toilet i've gone all shy now i'm not ready so charlie the nut job wants to go for a dip in the water i'm not sure if i'm brave enough for this this morning Oh, it's not too cold, you know. I've not showered in, what, two, three days? This will be the third day. So it might be a nice way to freshen up and wake up as well. This is either a really good idea or a really stupid one. <laughs> to wake up nc 500 here we come thank you this is it we've got our asses into gear and we are finally on the road to our first destination of the nc 500 for anybody interested, we're doing the route anti-clockwise because from all of the recommendations that I've had from family, from friends, from people on Instagram, from YouTube, 
everybody says go anti-clockwise because the east coast isn't as nice as the west coast so the place that we're just leaving Loch Morlick I think it was called is next to the town or the village called Aviemore and now we're just heading out of there and we're going to Loch Ness which is obviously pretty famous for the Loch Ness monster I don't think personally it's going to be anything that exciting but it feels like as we're driving towards Inverness we've got to stop there and check it out in true Scottish fashion the weather hasn't turned up it is pissing down with rain but I've been advised not to look at the weather every single day on your weather apps because up here in the Highlands it just changes constantly but I'm really hoping the Sun comes out and we get some vitamin D because I need it in my soul. Ay ay ay, Scotland, what are you doing to me? Get some tunes on the go, and there's nothing better than road tripping on roads and in countries like this. Watch this, watch this. Whoa! <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> are you ready? Right? <laughs> Keep coming, you up we can. What's going on? You nearly got her in trouble there. You nearly got her in trouble. I thought you hit something. <laughs> Not the best conditions, it has to be said. I think this is going to be a place that I've come to just to say I've been here. I don't know how much longer we're going to stay because the rain is coming. On a nice day, it would be all right, I think. The Loch Ness monsters in there somewhere. Well, we're back at the vans. That was an absolute fail with the weather conditions, but is what it is. Got to make the best of the situation. The only monster I saw there was hanging off that bull. Absolutely huge. What a piece he had on him. Anyway, we're going to head now. I need to go and stock up on some food from the local Asda, which we just drove past. And then after that, we're going to head to a place called Rogie Falls. So let the adventure continue. We've just arrived at Asda and I've just done a monstrous shop. Having a fridge in here is an absolute game changer. I've got chorizo, yogurt, pesto, pasta, green veg, all sorts going on in there. And when I'm driving, I obviously just plug it into the 12 volt of the car so the alternator keeps it charged up. And then when I'm not driving, I just plug it into the uh, the power oak so it should keep everything nice and cold. Off the rogie falls, three o'clock, slow day, Weather's not great, but we've done the food shop. Let's crack on and get going. Every time their van starts, it honestly sounds like it's just gonna break. <laughs> Every, it goes doo -doo 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 -doo. It's worse than my Galaxy. Follow the leader. Just don't hit that red car. Let's go, come on, for a bit more adventure for the day. Just arrived at the car park for Rogi Falls. So I think it's about a 20 minute walk to the actual waterfall. So we'll go check that out and see what is going on and what it looks like. I thought this was quite interesting, worth sharing. Stay the night in the motorhome or camper van between 6 p.m. to 10 a.m. Applies only to motorhomes and caravans with own toilet facilities. No charge to stay the night here. This is cool. This is a bit of me, this is into nature getting back feeling like bear grills or ray mears i'm actually just trying to find a spot to go to the toilet just for a wee that's all look at this woodland this kind of stuff gets me going this is a hell of a spot i love all this lush greenery and these high top trees and the moss i'm going to sound like a right tree hugging lover but i just love nature and places like this they just do it for me so so nice peaceful quiet and we can even stay in the car park tonight if we want but we'll check out the waterfall and then make that decision later on this evening <laughs> what a 
what a spot this is. Oh man, this is awesome. This is a spot and a half. Really reminds me of Canada, of Thailand and Southeast Asia, just visiting waterfalls, going on little hikes. It's just not as hot, but a good way to finish almost the end of the day. We're gonna to go to one more spot, which I think is called Channery Point. So I'll catch up with you guys when we're there. But I highly recommend this place, Rogi Falls. For any of you guys that are planning on doing the NC500, a bit of information for you. The main road that we're on now, which I think is the road which most people will be on the entire time of this trip, is called the A9. You can go about 60, 70 mile an hour along the whole road. You've got some alpine trees either side of the road, so it's quite a nice, pretty drive. So for the next few days, this will be the main road that we stay on. Just follow this all the way up, and then along the way, we'll stop off at any places that we fancy. No drones, oh no, what a disaster that is. I will follow that rule, I promise. Well, this is Channery Point. We're sacking it off, it's so windy. There's just a lighthouse over there. Most people come here for the dolphins during high tide, but it's obviously not high tide at the moment. So we're gonna skip on to Tarbert Ness Lighthouse. I'm gonna get myself a chicken tikka slice out of here. Oh, this fridge, I love you. I've already had one. This was meant to last me a few days, all this food, but I think it's gonna be gone pretty quickly. I gotta say, I love this feeling of having everything I need in this van. A bed, a toilet, kind of a shower. I'll show you that when I set it up eventually. Food, a fridge, you name it, I've got it in here. Look at all this farmland just absolutely surrounding us. Whoa, this is sick. They got plenty of land up here in Scotland, that's for sure. I know I've said it the entire journey that I've been driving, but it's absolutely stunning around here. And what a hell of a park up we've just found. Oh man. Ooh -hoo -hoo. What a spot this is. Look at that. That coastline is a bit different to the, uh, the old Dorset coastline that I've seen before. It's a bit more rugged and got sort of like a red clay look to it. Had no idea that that park up was gonna be right next to the lighthouse and in such a nice spot. There was a place on park for night, but that is the jackpot. Right, we're all back at the vans. As I said, we're gonna be staying here tonight. There's us two and another not sure what van that is maybe a vw oh god i gotta unlock the door but i gotta do it from the other side anyway lauren's cooking a green thai curry sensational they're really looking after me charlie and lauren when it comes to the food situation they had porridge for me this morning i will get my ass into gear and cook them some fajitas at some point home sweet home oh! it's windy and cold outside that's for sure i want to show you the quick little power setup that i've got going on to give me lights and charge everything on my trip. So I've got the Power Oak 2000 watt. Let's turn DC on. Oh no, hold on. This is the power to my fan. So this one here should be for my lights. Wee-hee! I've temporarily double-sided, sticky taped the lights to the vapor barrier. Obviously, it's not gonna be like that. Once I get the cladding in, it'll look a lot neater and a lot tidier, but it at least gives me a decent amount of light in here to do whatever I want in the evenings. And look, touch on, touch off. Oh no, that was touch off as well, but look. Touch on, touch back on, happy days. And when we get this threesome on the go with Charlie and Lauren, hold on, not easy to do one-handed. I, 
can plug in my fairy lights or not my fairy lights my LED strip and now I look like part of the red light district in Amsterdam this is where the magic happens or no magic has happened yet I'm yet to christen this van but it's looking unlikely so far on this trip behind the back here I've got my little larder area with all the food that I bought earlier the dry foods that doesn't need to go in the fridge oh god I've just fucking hell just broken the box got the jackery solar panel which actually does charge the power oak for some weird reason toilet roll all the other bits and bobs but this is what it looks like from the back uh we're just gonna do the high green curry if that's okay sounds bloody lovely to me <laughs> If you want more, you can have some of this. Cheers, thank you very much for this. Look at where he's in, look. He's got his camping chair, he's got his little <laughs> baby bowl. <laughs> Lovely <laughs> jubbly. Cheers to that. You got that from Giddy Care, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like a bit of rubber for dinner. <laughs> Tofu. <laughs> you know when you cook your own food and you still don't eat it, you're not hungry anymore. <laughs> it's always how f***ing hot. Spicy or hot? No. What spicy? No, not spicy. Oh, like boiling, yeah. boiling hot. Ah. Oh no, <laughs> scalded. Oh, oh, yeah, every time. Ah. oh, every time. I'm going back to London. I can't do this anymore. How do you have your sender? That's the fake one. Oh. What the f <laughs> we that got him with the fake drawer. <laughs> we got him with the fake drawer. Why the hell have they got a fake drawer? I've got to show you this for God's sake. Here I am pulling this, trying to get a knife. <laughs> Why have you got a fake drawer? Just look good, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, but what? It's, it's for people like you, actually. <laughs> or, or for idiots. Right, I'm eating my dinner, okay? I can't do this camera stuff anymore. Can you do a little dance? What is this? The washing up dance. Washing gang, it's a washing gang. <laughs> Mumbo jumbo. <laughs> Lauren, look at her, look. King of the castle, look. Let me show you what she's doing. Absolute king of the castle, look. She done the, she done the cooking. And now me and Will are going to clean it up. Join me in the next video where we continue our NC500 Scotland road trip. This is the best place we've been. You heard it here first, with plenty more incredible scenery and more adventures in the vans. Welcome to Scotland, now there's just sheep crossing roads at all sorts. Thank you so much for watching, drop the video a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one.